10 Places for the Best Photographs on Mount Kilimanjaro Climbing Kilimanjaro is an adventure of a lifetime. Every year, thousands of visitors come to test their mettle on Africa's highest peak. Located in Tanzania, Mount Kilimanjaro is the tallest freestanding mountain in the world, meaning it's not part of a mountain range. And as one might expect, being here presents many opportunities for spectacular jaw-dropping photographs. The 19,341 foot high mountain is a stratovolcano made of ash, lava, and rock. It was formed 750,000 years ago by the eruption of three volcanic centers, Shira, Mwenzi, and Kibo. Climbing Kilimanjaro takes climbers through five distinct ecological zones, each of which offers different scenic characteristics. In this video, I'll show you my picks for the 10 most photogenic places on Mount Kilimanjaro. So grab your camera and let's begin our visual journey. Number one, Shira Plateau. The Shira Cone expired about half a million years ago. It later collapsed on itself to form Shira Plateau. The stretch of land spans 24 square miles, lying west of the summit at an elevation of 12,500 feet. Climbers on the Shira route, Lemosho, and Northern Circuit route will get their first glimpse of Mount Kilimanjaro from the Shira Plateau. Number two, Lava Tower. Lava Tower is a volcanic rock tower that was formed when lava shot out of a vent, then cooled and hardened, stopping the flow of underground lava from reaching the surface. This is known as a volcanic plug. The formation is 300 feet tall, creating a large visible landmark on the trail. In the past, tourists were allowed to scramble to the top of the tower before park authorities deemed it too dangerous. Climbers on the Shira, Lemosho, Machame, and Northern Circuit route will encounter Lava Tower. Number three, Barranco Wall. The Barranco Wall was created when part of Kibo's crater rim collapsed, leaving this massive and intimidating structure. The wall rises 843 feet above the valley. Many people get nervous when viewing this seemingly sheer cliff. However, navigating this rock is much easier and safer than it looks. And it's actually one of the most fun sections of the climb. The real photo opportunity here is when you reach the top of Bronco Wall against the backdrop of the blue sky and clouds. Climbers on the Shira, Lamosho, Machame, and Umboy route will scale the Barranco Wall. Number four, the saddle. Between Kibo and Mwenzi lies a barren plain of alpine desert known as the saddle. This area is about 14 square miles, making it the largest high altitude tundra in Africa. The views of Mount Mwenzi to the east and the views of Kibo to the west are both amazing. Climbers on the Morangu route and the Rangai route will cross the saddle on the way to the summit. Number five. Mwenzi Peak. Mwenzi is the second highest point on Mount Kilimanjaro. At a height of almost 17,000 feet, this area is made of very steep terrain and loose rocks. It's unique in appearance due to its spiky and jagged top. Because fatalities have occurred in the past, Mwenzi was closed to mountaineers for a long time, but recently it's reopened for technical climbers willing to face the potential hazards. Climbers on the Morangu and Rangai route will have great views of Mwenzi from camp. However, Mwenzi is observable from all of Kilimanjaro's routes. Number six, Barranco Valley. The Great Barranco Valley lies south of Kilimanjaro summit. The valley floor is a moorland environment dominated by a ground zone known as Dendrocenicio Kilimanjaro. These unmistakable succulents, which look like they are from out of this world, are found only on Mount Kilimanjaro. Be sure to snap some photos as you approach Barranco Camp. Climbers on Shira, Lemosho, Machame, and Umboy will hike through this area. Number seven, Southern Ice Field. Despite being near the equator, Kilimanjaro has a glaciated peak. Its world-renowned glaciers have covered the top for centuries, but are thinning dramatically in recent years. Make the effort to see them while they're still here. All of Kilimanjaro's routes will offer grand views of the southern ice field as you approach the summit. Don't forget to snap a pic with them before you descend. 
it will be well worth the effort. Number 8. Crater Camp Near the summit, there's a little used campsite known as Crater Camp. At almost 19,000 feet, it's the highest campsite on the mountain. Climbers who stay here add a day to their itineraries, but in exchange, they have the opportunity to explore one of Kilimanjaro's last remaining glaciers. Additionally, they can climb to the crater rim. Crater Camp is used on our Lamosho Crater and Northern Crater Route. Number 9. Uhuru Peak Uhuru Peak is the highest point on Kilimanjaro, 19,341 feet above sea level. When you see the sign, you know you finally made it to the top. The word Uhuru means freedom in Swahili. A wooden sign marks the spot for the obligatory summit photograph. Of course, every route tops out here. Number 10. Royce Crater Kibo, the highest of Kilimanjaro's cones, contains a crater named Royce Crater. The main crater floor it partially collapsed, leaving inner walls on the south side as high as 600 feet. The ash pit lies within Royce Crater. Scientists estimate that the last time Kibo erupted was 360,000 years ago. The volcano is dormant and may erupt again. You have the option to see Royce Crater on the Lamosho Crater and Northern Crater routes. From Crater Camp, it's a one hour hike to see it. Bonus, from the sky. This shot isn't accessible on the mountain itself, but if you fly into Kilimanjaro Airport during the day, you might get a close view of Kilimanjaro from the sky. Keep that window shade open and be ready to snap that epic pic. The sheer magnitude of climbing Kilimanjaro will be apparent when you've seen it from an airplane. You should be able to spot the Uhuru Peak sign, Southern, Northern, and Eastern Ice Fields, Royce Crater, and the Ash Pit. Are you ready to see these places live with your own eyes? Visit Ultimate Kilimanjaro and get your adventure booked. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you at the summit.